Okay guys, so <clears throat> I'm down here at the local concourse. Uh, I got the Three Brothers RC anti foams installed in the trail launcher yesterday. So I wanted to test them out. Uh, the backyard crawler course is not the best place to test out the anti foams because the main difference between the anti foams and what I was using is really going to be the side wall difference. So I need more of a landscape that's going to allow me to do more sidewalling. So what better place is the comp course? Let's do this. There it is. So I'm now running the anti foams in the tires now. compression Let's see how it does so far so good the side walling is really where where the I think these things are gonna shine Further down. over the rocks as it climbs over this pop over right over here and this is kind of a side wall it has a little bit of a lean to the driver's side so far I like the fact that I'm not rolling <clears throat> downhill just a little bit because the the donut hair buns is not filling in the sides as much so you kind of get a little bit more whatever weight you're rolling on towards the bottom downside you kind of slide towards that side I'm not noticing that with these anti foams they do fill up the tire a lot better So I am noticing a difference already just from the sidewalling. Yeah, see like right here, traditionally this car would have been probably sliding down more just because I have a lot more play on that tire. I'm able to stay on my lines a lot better now. I do like because I'm able to grip a lot better with that sidewall, it's allowing me to keep my turn radius decent. I wasn't saying that that one was going to be made in one turn, because you can see from previous videos that it wasn't going to happen. But this vehicle at least.
some sewage right there, man. Ooh. That was not a good smelling water today. Ooh, that sucked. Fortunately, there was no glass where I put my hand down. So the rear, there's a slide off the smoother rock here. So it's just, but you know what? I kind of want to see what it will do, bro. Right, I was able to control that a lot better. So I wasn't expecting that just from previous run experience. Uh, didn't have the best control sidewalling because of the, like I said, the looseness on the sides. And I have that now, so slightly different. Making things a little easier. So, up this way, and start turning the car down this way, so I don't roll, better grip the placement, okay, so here we go, careful of the roll, because we are sidewalling. So I did trim a little bit off the, the front tire wells so that the body hopefully is not going to rub on the tire anymore. Come on, there we go. This rear tire is still in the air right now, so that's why I have to be careful. right there and you can see it pushing up against that rock perfect all right so i'm gonna be very honest guys i'm pretty damn impressed with these anti foams they are pretty expensive they're 80 dollars for the set of four um, versus you know dual stage which are what 40 50 bucks for the four and then hair donut hair buns for 15 bucks for the four so you do kind of, you know, kind of get what you pay for. So um, are these really worth $18 a piece so far? On this landscape right here, I'm going to say, yes, it's worth it. All right, so now we're just gonna follow the arrow down into this area. So here's a major sidewalling area. Let's get over here with a better camera angle and see how it does. See, there's not much give right here. Normally, that passenger front would have been sliding and you'll see a lot more contortion coming in because of that. But it is sliding because it's a smooth surface, but it's not sliding as bad as the other one would have. Capabilities on these things are pretty phenomenal. I'm pretty impressed. Okay. Okay. Just gonna follow my traditional route here. Because I really don't know how it goes from here. There's just no more arrows. So I'm just gonna play around. Where 
else I want to go. Let's play down here a little bit. I want to take this car down, actually. Here, let's do this. Let's turn it around. Let's play down here a little bit further. You know what? I think I may have found another arrow. some more arrows so you know, there's one right there and I think I found another one down here so this could be yeah so there's another one so I think you're supposed to go there down here over here over here over here and then where you see any more arrows maybe to this area Guys, give me a quick second here. Whatever. I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna come all the way down through this area as intended, and then we'll discover some new things. making our way up, finding ways up now. Underhanger here, but the tire 
else, okay? So let's go towards the right, and you see the dovetail right there. Let's try to get hit that dovetail right there. Let's see how all this comes out. So we'll get in between these two. Just kind of back up a little bit, okay? left into the dovetail area. Let's get those tires in action. As you have to remember, I'm very new at this. I've only been doing RC crawling for six months. I uh, started to learn how to do droop setups and everything else within the last couple of months. So I still have a lot to learn about what, how the vehicle will behave in certain aspects. Um, one of the guys I'm hopefully trying to learn from and is very inspiring is uh, Logan from West Desert Wheeler. He seems to be a gentleman who knows his uh, what his vehicle is going to do, how to tune his vehicle properly, how his vehicle is going to behave. So it's definitely something I want to strive to. So we'll get there soon enough. Okay, so I want to hit this line right here on the left. Day we did this line right here, the one right here to the right, and we kind of got stuck right in there and the end of with those rock tires and see if we're gonna have that same issue today. Of that rock but what that is doing it's lifting the front up or I can't get grip okay so I do have to get over a little bit more Not the best way to do it, but what you can see right here is you can see the scratches on that rock slider right here. That is getting caught under, underneath, so I might switch this into a shorter rock slider or maybe just bent this upwards. Let's see. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Alright, so let's see. The easier of the lines is obviously the right. Now let's do this. I don't want the easy line. I'm going to go this way and then I'm going to back and butt up. And we could do the dovetail right in the middle or the one to the left. Better back up.
one thing to try out before I end the video for this car is we did that straight drop from there to here and we were sliding around like a motherfucker because we had no sidewall capabilities. Well, let's see if these three brother anti forms change that. And position the car a little better. Okay, give me a second. Get my footing better as well. There we go. So first thing first, we're gonna get over here. There we go. Try to hit this as straight as possible and then come down. Also, potential area for rolling. Okay, so fronts are bumped in. And back up just a smidge. Here we go. I'm going to turn it this way. Okay. with the anti foams now. Pretty badass, huh? I like it. Very, very satisfied with the anti foams. Uh, if you're willing to spend the money on them, I definitely recommend getting a set of these. They are about $80 for a set of four, but I mean, as you can see, they made a huge difference on the uh, rock crawling surfaces here, especially on that side walling and downhill. Huge difference. All right, guys, I'm gonna have some fun with the cap right here now. <laughs> 